I think I mean, do we think that's true? Fish should definitely <laughs> this later. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that's true? Not on camera. Well, Kay. you were there last week. Yeah. No, Jack, I won't touch you there for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you say, how about ten? I'll do it for three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready? Oh, Jack, stop touching me over Oh, your hands are on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> that was his foot. <laughs> Did you see that whole thing about Keanu Reeves? How whenever he takes oh, pictures of... The, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, what? He poses with these hot girls, and it looks like he's like got he his hands. He does the hover hand. Him, but he puts the hover hand, because he's hover like hand. avoiding me too. He doesn't want to accidentally get blamed for touching yeah. anybody. That's A lot of people are doing that. In really? Pictures now, yeah. They do the hover hand. Ben's really touching me. Oh, no! <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to another fun-filled episode of Toy Geeks Behind the Counter. Yay! We're the Toy Geeks. We're behind this counter. I'm George. I'm Ben. Jack. I'm Dove. And whenever Dove is here and you see these things in front of us... It must mean it's convention time! Whoop, Are you whoop, sure? Whoop, yeah, I'm whoop. pretty sure. He could surprise us and he could be like, nah, I just put these out here. For there has been like one episode or something that Dove's been on where it's like we didn't talk about the stuff that he was going to sell at a show. Oh. But first. But hey. Before we get into Dove. Into oh, Dove. I'm, Wait, I'm what? Another quick announcement. I said it on last week's episode, but I am going to the UK. You and are? I will be at the Toy Art UK convention. One day convention. <laughs> it's uh, Saturday, June 29th. 10 to 4 at the Leeds Marriott Hotel in Leeds. Are you ask, Are you telling people this so they can bring you gifts? Yes. I, I enjoy <laughs> I'm gluten-free, so if it's going to be gluten-free things. Bless, bless you. Thank you. The, you know, the mic's still on. So we <laughs> tried to cover the mic. Oh. Well, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, come come say hello. Hopefully someone's there to say hello, or I'm just Give wandering me. around. Uh, but I'll be with uh, Dr. A, so I'll maybe check his table first, buy some stuff, and then uh, come find me. Yeah. Get a free... And I meant buy some stuff from Dr. A, not me. Get a free, <laughs> get a free something from my pocket if you say hello. Ooh. Ooh. While supplies last. Pocket schwack. That sounded dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to reach in. I get it for you. Oh, oh. what's the point? <laughs> Dude. Just ruining our dreams. <laughs> Or I'm making them come true. Oh, uh, no. no. This, this is, is getting a dirty. Horrible way hey, to Dom, start the how's show? it going over there? <laughs> That's great. You know, <laughs> everything's wonderful. I'm so saying that just for you. Thank you. Uh, so, what con is coming up that we're. San Diego Comic Con. I just never heard of it. This never is the one. He's going to be in the year. Are you going to Leeds? <laughs> no, that's George. <laughs> oh. All right. I can actually hear the crickets. There was a cricket. <laughs> so it looks like you've got a lot of figures to talk about. Let's get right into it. All right. So the what first do we got? one. What's your booth number? Oh, I don't know. They moved he us did this that year. Yeah, they moved us to like the middle of the hall. And I, I'm not sure if this is a bad thing or a good thing, but they moved the designer toy section with the rest of the toys. Okay. Yeah. And so I think that's good. Uh, our booth number, I'm sure Victoria will put it. Right. Down below. Right here. Right um, on your face. It's, I memorized the other one after 10 years, but oh. I don't know. All right, these so what these are. are amazing is what they, they are. are fantastic? Pretty cool. Oh, my God. Down. All right, so um, Manly Art came up with this thing. It's called KRB Tronic. And he wrote a little story. I'll read you part oh, of it. Okay. It says, in 1994, Jack Kirby passed away. In the dead of night, Hasbro took possession of his brain as specified by a lucrative deal made in his twilight years, and it was placed in the biomechanical... Okay, anyway. So what <laughs> happened is... Wow. He's taken these figures from the 90s, which the Power of the Force line, Star Wars line from the 90s, are considered... Awesome. The Amazing. The weakest... Uh, highly co highly hey, collectible. Wait, these are <laughs> divergent opinions here. Of the... Of, they were the start of the modern Star Wars figure, started in 95, but Kenner at the time, before they became Hasbro, thought that the boys that were going to buy these toys wanted super buff characters to play with. <laughs> and so, like, super Darth, buff Vader with is, tiny waists. Darth Vader is ripped, right? And Luke Skywalker is, like, buff. And Jason just thought that wouldn't that be a great idea to 
uh, do a piece of art for each one and have it look like kind of like a Jack Kirby. Uh, These are amazing. Poster. How much are they? Um, they are one hundred thirty-five dollars. What? Including no. tax, he's going to do hopefully so twenty-four originals. And wow. I just can't wait. Are to these see just those. like these? So wait a minute. He managed to get four done in time for Toy Geeks, but we'll have twenty oh additional ones at the show. Wow. And I might like. So out. here's the thing. When when you've done it in the past, he's done the same figure with like he did, but those were different. He did like a but it was all different art. Really it was painted, nice. yeah. and so it's like you could kind of restrain yourself and be like, I'm only going to get one, right? Because the figure's the same, and like I'll just pick my favorite one. But here, there's no restraint. There's like there is there's, there's 24, 24 original different. paintings with a, with different figures. So you there just is, choose you know what the one. limit is? Ben gets one. Hush you. <laughs> but what I will tell you is that if you can't make it to the show, this one's um, or really good. If you can't make it in general, you can always email us at dktoys at gmail.com. If you see something you want, we do have a wait list. We sell a lot of stuff online to people who get in touch with us that are not at the show. Do you really think any of these will be left after the show? Well, Nothing here's, will be here's left. Here's the thing they're all one of a kind, and the figures are readily available, and he will take requests. So oh, if you want a Boba right. Fett, and you send us a Power uh, the Force Boba Fett in the package, he will do one for approximately the same price of $130. Really? Wow. Wow. So you have options there. Okay. These are really nice. There you go. What's next? Moving on. All right. So Acquired Taste is back these here. Back, gonna yeah, be a lot there's, there's, these are going to take one up. All right. You can keep them going right here. Uh, so Count Tastus from Acquired Taste, um, <laughs> who is... <laughs> he, he's only made about four or five figures in That's his career. Cool. Each one has been a, a home run. This one's called Captain Mustard Schnag. Uh, it's got card art by Matt Talbot. It's an edition of 25. Wow. And if you see, it's kind of got like our favorite Cantina Alien mashed up with uh, yeah. Captain Kirk on a power <laughs> yeah. droid chair <laughs> thingy. I don't know. The execution <laughs> of this thing is just next level. Like, Is this the guy that did the the Space Madness one or whatever they were called? No. The that, same guy? That was Junk Fed. If you look on the back, you can see his other figures. He did the Ugnaught Oompa Loompa. Oh, yeah, and yeah, He yeah. did the one with uh, Walt Disney's head inside of the... This one, <laughs> this is way better than those other ones. Like, this is a different level of... Why do you have to make it a backhanded compliment? <laughs> Why can't you just say you Have like you this met one? George? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, this is a much nicer presentation. He's than stepping than up than his game. He's just past. telling it like it is. What's that? Real talk. Look, the guy got better. Good for him. Right. The guy got better. <laughs> so what the? So what this, is that? So this guy's name is Dustin Benzig. Whoa. Okay. I found him on Etsy. Oh, all right. Uh, he makes these wood sculptures that are hand painted. George. I've seen this and it's effing off them. They awesome. are off them. Off them. Off them. Off them. They are. They are sixty-five dollars for a awesome. hand-carved, hand-painted piece of wood. How much? Sixty-five dollars. Now is he doing all Boba Fetts? He's doing twenty-five Boba Fetts. Twenty-four. One's mine. Ooh, I kind of want one too. It's just next level amazing. How much are they? Sixty-five dollars. I'm taking one. Not this, only that, this one is mine. He could do all the Back to the Future mine. characters as well. What? What? Wait. Uh, 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 if you look at uh, his site, if you look at like the Mars Attack stuff and like all the other properties that he does, they're all one of a kind. I'm. I think I'm the first person to ever call the dude and say, "Can you make twenty-five of the same thing?" Really? Because it's all one of a kind stuff. Go look him up, dude. Amazing. The sculpting Mine. on this is really uh, good. Dude, <laughs> you're still on that? You're still on that one. The it's sculpting's an, really we're good. We're like four and characters This, this has been now. delayed for like three conventions or something. Like this oh. is like finally delivered. Like we're very pleased to have this toy. It was worth the wait. I, I would be pleased as well. I would put this on my shelf. It's. Are you going to buy it? <clears throat> How much was it? Uh, that Who one, cares? That one's it's totally 85. worth it. Yeah, I mean, it's a good price. That's it a lot is, of work. It is. It's really uh, nicely done. Edition of 25. Yeah, I might hmm? really want that one, actually. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Sacrilegious. So <gasps> this one's called Mary, Mother of God by Dogman Toys. He's the one who did the Vishnu figure, uh, the Apu Vishnu figure from New York last oh, year. Oh, that's right, yes. And so he's kind of exploring our favorite uh, Springfield characters as religious iconography. Um, 
mother of God, <laughs> meaning that Bart is God, if you get that anyway. Uh, addition to 25, they're 65 bucks. I think this one's a home run. Like, if you're a Simpsons fan, we always try to have one thing Simpsons if we can, two things. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I like it, but it's still a little weird. Like it's that edgy. 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 Yes. Is it? Ben is ed- <laughs> Ben likes a lot of things. He doesn't like edgy. I can, I, I can do that? edgy. All right, so this is a figure that came out originally um, by Killer Bootlegs in 2013, and it was called Regurgitated Ideas. And instead of Han and Carbonite and Han and whatever, kind of, it's Han and Yeah. Uh, and this sold out in 2013, and I just thought that, I don't know, it's so... It, it, it makes fun of the whole scene and how, I, I don't know, I just think it's amazing. I, I, if we ever get a book out, this is going to be like the back cover of the book. I almost <laughs> don't want to touch I it. I think the book should be called Regurgitated <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> so this is basically a straight up like redo? Uh, the card artist changed. It's out of a different material. The original material that he used in 2013 was like a latex and all the paint's kind of fallen off of them. Oh. This, uh, I think, is a, a silicone, I think, so he changed it up. They're super affordable. Um, 25 they're, cents? They're, mm, they're, yeah. They're 25 bucks. He's making 100 of them. Um, okay. Cool. I, I believe the original one had a stormtrooper throwing up. Oh, okay. But this one... This uh, makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, George, no. <laughs> makes more sense. What? I was... Boba Fett, that's Han Solo. <laughs> so last year we had the first figure in the the Star World series. Um, <laughs> it was a Darth Vader. It was from that uh, that bootleg vinyl case. Yeah. And uh, Buzzard Guts is gonna go through and hopefully do all of them. This one is called OU812. O U eight one two. And we're the next one will be C three PO and he's called I eight one B four U. This can be a smaller uh, edition than the Vader from last year. This is gonna be thirty pieces. Uh, and they're fifty five bucks. Wow. Okay. So going off to the ex- crazy experimental side. Um, this one's called It's Cardboard by Bill Barminski. Because it really is. It cardboard. really is. Uh, if you don't know who Bill Barminski is, if you went to Beyond the Streets, they, he did that entire room with everything made out of cardboard. And I was a big fan of his work. He makes the Krylon cans and f- like life-size furniture, and it's all cardboard. It's cardboard. And New. Just cardboard. I asked him, <laughs> was like, hey, because we're into like oh. making fun of the medium, like, do you want to make something entirely out of cardboard that's not even an action figure? And he was totally into it. It's cardboard, George. Yeah. Those are all completely hand painted. How Ooh. much are you charging for the cardboard? Those are a hundred bucks. Oh my God. What's the guy's name? Bill Berminski. A hundred dollars. Yeah, I, actually very affordable for his work. Yeah. I actually no, I believe it. Um, and there's only twenty five of them, so. I'm intrigued by this. Yeah. Well, as much as I'm like yeah. so weird, I'm like, that's kind of why I want it. <laughs> I, I can't tell if he's angry, so Doss fascinated, House, or just like, stupefied. I think Doss, Doss, he did it before Doss House. Right. So. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute, what is this? All right, so when you hmm. get janky toys and Mark Todd yeah, no. in the same room, Stuck in a pot of goo. You get craziness. Oh no, it's like, oh no, this is too so much. There's gonna Wait be five, This is too much. Five Keanu figures. I see four. Oh my god. Uh, no. the, the Bill and Ted one didn't make it here. Um, in <laughs> Whoa, collect but, all five. Uh, but we have uh, Point Break, my own private Idaho, Speed, Matrix, and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. And the back says, Keanu, damn right it is better than you thought, wasn't he? When you think back, you say to yourself, hey, he was actually in some pretty enjoyable flicks. Be honest, he's cool. Did he marry Winona Ryder? Okay, I guess he did a bunch of bad movies too. At least he takes chances. <laughs> so whose idea was it? I think I, they both, I, I think it was Janky's idea okay. and then- uh, So Mark asked, did the art, asked I Mark assume. to do the art. 
Um, but then it became a collaboration. We all are these like cast off of horrible reaction figures. I don't know what the source is. Because um, there's. Look, I mean, it's perfect timing. Keanu's having a moment right now. Like yeah, actually, actually, it is. It yeah. is perfect it's timing. Movie. It is perfect timing. Always be my maybe. If you haven't watched it, watch See it. it. <laughs> Keanu, the, I mean, spoiler alert, Keanu's in it. That's a huge spoiler. But uh, it's worth it just to see his scene. Like, <laughs> we've watched it twice. I think Jessica watched it three times already. Like, it's a good movie. It's so good. And there's only 10 of each of these. They're $65 each. Do you have to buy the pack? You don't. You get to pick which Keanu you want? You do. But see, what's interesting about this is, mm -hmm. and this was long discussions between, you know, uh, Chris and Jenk, uh, and Mark Todd, is you, you couldn't really release just one of these this year and another one next year. Right. Like, this series only works when you have all five of them together. Amazing. Wh which one would you get? I think I'd go Speed. I, if you're gonna go, like just good. that painting's way like dumber <laughs> than the rest. Just move it or lose it. This Keanu, uh, this uh, yeah. this one says you're stuck in a pot of goo. It's a pot of goo. Yeah, I think the speed one might is better than the Matrix Undercover one. Undercover surf cop. What does this one say? Shakespeare and love. Mm. 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 I'd have to see the Bill and Ted to yeah. really make a decision, but like. The speed painting is the worst, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bill and Ted, you're probably seeing it right now as we cut it in. Anyway, moving along. Moving uh, along. Run out of displays. And we're moving we along. Doing? We'll have to start <laughs> circulating. This is the Symbiote Trooper by the Caterpillar. <laughs> uh, addition to 25. I like this. They're 55 bucks. Uh, Caterpillar is a partnership between Verva Pico and Wait, Kill. Wait, look at it first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I think on. next time we That's do this, cool. Symbio Trooper. I, I, I'm a big Venom fan, so I like the skull. Yeah, it's that. neat. I like That's it. That's awesome. That's it. Moving along. Okay. Ah, I'm biased. I like Caterpillar. Um, this is actually a prototype. This is not the finished piece. The photo that we cut in here will be the finished piece. Um, this is called the Wood T1000 by Danny Wicked. Danny. This is <laughs> this is the advanced prototype that you're looking at and. <laughs> This I like a, this. Um, he basically mashed up Toy Story and Terminator. Whoa. I like that. Uh, That's cool. And uh, our little Terminator buddy is uh, yeah, killing the potato there. I, you know, Mr. Potato ha had it coming. And then hopefully if this works out for New York Comic Con, he's got a uh, the T-800 as Buzz Lightyear. Right. right. I mean, it's definitely a... Mashup I have not seen before. <laughs> <laughs> I could say that. Indeed. I don't know if those two films have a lot of crossover appeal. <laughs> Maybe they do. Sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Sure they well, do. They're both having releases this summer. Sure. So we'll I don't know if the days. audience is the same though. The guys that <laughs> are going to the new Terminator, are they gonna maybe they're taking their kid to the uh, Toy Story movie? Don't know. Maybe it's no, a father son bonding that's moment. That's what makes it cool though, no? Because right, it's eclectic. Ooh, a Tron mashup? User of the Force. Well yeah. here's the thing. Tron you mashup. You know, I as much as possible, I'm trying to get stuff that is not Star Wars. I know it seems like uh, there's so uh, many. Uh, you, you, you are failing. failing. So I think we're like half Star Wars, but then like, you know, people pitch me on other ideas. I try to get some stuff that's not Star Wars because it can't all be Star Wars. Anyway. Tron and Star Wars. That one's called User of the Force by Punk and Pop Toys. Uh, that's Ar Argentina-based uh, artist Sophie Lee, who's um, in... Mashup of our two favorite sci fi movies Tron and Star Wars. You said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along. Moving along. How much was this one? Uh, that one's 55. I like 55. the art on this one. Edition of Thirds. I like that. Yeah. Can That's I cool. see that one again? Yeah, you can take that. Fall. Put this one on there. So, if you remember from the Robot Remix show, the Australian artist uh, Addy, who yes. um, made those the the wood idols, where yes. he kind of reduced hmm. the characters into Astro Boy and um, and it was the Power Droid. Yeah. yeah. Well, I asked him if he could do handmade wood characters the size of three and three quarter inch figures um, for a release for Comic Con. 
These are cool. And this is cool. He pulled it off. Um, so I I love the guy's work. I think the way he reduces the colors and the shapes to a, a figure that is instantly recognizable as the character, but looks kind of like nothing like the character. Yeah. Um, really works for me. And most wow. of his pieces are big. They're like eight, twelve inches tall, and they're three, four hundred bucks. Is he making bucks. all the ones on the back? I hope so. Let's we'll see mm. if we can sell all of these. Um, these are fifty-five. No, sorry. These are seventy-five dollars. Handmade wooden figure. Uh, Pretty sign, cool. Signed in numbered edition of thirty. So, what's that? Moving along. That's Land speeder. No, I thought that's. Oh. All right. Oh, this Landspeeder. one is called. Mm. Uh, this is Space Wars and Dragons by John Norwood, who is also known as mm. For Love of Old Toys on Instagram. Uh, mashing up our favorite furry Wookiee dude with our nerdy guy. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> um, Wookiee Wizard. Addition to 25, these are 45 bucks. Oh, it's a bootleg. <laughs> uh, it says that right there. What's the thing about good? What's that label in the corner? Good, good action, action figures. Oh, okay. As opposed to the bad ones. Oh, man. So should we count because he did the whole Star Wars thing? That's a Star Wars thing. They're all Star Wars. He's no. just trying to get away from it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, hey, is, this is good, but this is Star Wars. This Straight is Straight out Wars. of Tatooine. Straight out of Tatooine by Owen Knott from Kidding Toys. Uh, also known as, as Fat O on Instagram. Uh, Fat he's a Thailand based artist. Uh, we had a figure oh, nice. from him last year called Step Wars, which sold out. And I like it. Hmm. Even though Boba it cool. is Star Wars. But look, it's Boba Fett. Boba Fett always sells. That's true. Like if you call me and say I want to make a toy, and it's like, well, if it's kind of experimental, say, well, if you make it Boba Fett, people will buy it. But then people get kind of <laughs> bored, and then it becomes a regurgitated idea. Oh. Oh. All right. See. So one of my favorite artists, his name is Peter Santa Maria, and he is uh, best known for his lino cut work oh, nice. and he, he carves or sculpts the image in a chunk of linoleum and then he prints on um, oh, this yeah. special handmade paper that he gets from Thailand mm. and so he decided to make a, a Thai bootleg which is called Chan Lo Samurai which in <laughs> Thai actually means Darth Vader no it, it, <laughs> it, it actually means Space Samurai uh, it's an edition of 40 they're $80 and if you can look at like the quality of the paper, I mean that's printed directly from the linoleum. Like each piece is hand printed. I think Bill should have been on this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, instead of you? Maybe. <laughs> you have nothing Jack's to afraid say. to talk about anything because he doesn't want to hurt anybody's Jack? feelings. Oh, no, man. I think they're cool. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. No. I only post the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> All right, so this was kind of a coup for us because we did a, a figure with Anthony Lister two oh years ago. Oh, man. And I saw this painting that he <laughs> did of <laughs> Spider-Man, and then I emailed again. I'm like, hey, you want to make another figure of Spider-Man? And here we have the amazed <laughs> Spandex Man. Uh, this is actually not the finished figure. That's his original sculpt. Um, he, he lives in Australia. Oh, so really? He sculpted that? He sculpted it. Interesting. Um, and so then I had them cast, and I sent him the cast, and then he's hand painting each one. Wow. Oh, wow. So All right. for 120 bucks, there's 25 pieces, you get a hand painted Anthony, Anthony Lister figure. Anthony Lister. <laughs> Crazy man. Kind of. Wow. Are we supposed to know who Anthony Lister is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'll put you this way the figures from two years ago that were also $120 are minimum $300 on eBay, sometimes as high as $500. You hear that, Flippers? Get on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Kevin's <laughs> buying them all. Spider Man, isn't it? All right. No, it's the amazing Spandex Man. Spandex Man. Yeah, all right, more I mean, Boba Fett. Spider Man, right? Yeah, Spider -Man, put that, take one of those down, put this up. All right, so this one is called Boba Wood. You know, Boba Wood. kind of ruined it for me now. Why? Because now I know like why they're all Boba Fett, because you're telling people to do Boba Fett. Dude, everyone wants Boba Fett. It's crazy. Like Boba Wood. Boba Wood. That's pretty Boba good Fett. too. Straight out of Compton Boba. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, 
This is Star Wars. It is. I like okay. it. There's yeah, a large percentage of Star Wars. <laughs> but I'd like to have a nice chunk of stuff that is not Star Wars. I'm trying okay. to find the stuff that's not well, Star Wars. Well, the Keanu's Wars. not Keanu's Star Wars. Okay, Keanu. Uh, that one says Wars. it's not this Star Wars. This is not Wars Star the Wars. This is a bootleg of Star Wars. That That is Star Wars. That's not Star Wars. Not Star Wars. Not all right, Star Wars. all right. You made your point. That's <laughs> not Star Wars. Anyway, so... Uh, Star Wars. Wars. Killer Bootlegs posted this guy's work on uh, Instagram, Edwin Salas. Um, and he's wow. kind of this like performer and so usually let's say with the manly art like he painted the card I backs like but yeah. used a regular figure other people hand carve the figures and print their card backs this guy not only handmade whoa <laughs> each figure that took is it out of the box articulated you took it out of the box and rocket it firing uh, there is actually a rubber band in here if I get it just right we believe you. Can't. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, and he's got like Sorry. metal joints in here. <laughs> it, Sorry. It's really kind of uh, crazy. Uh. Or what was the problem? With and then he hand painted the back. But yes, and the back has a note to consumer. Yes. It says ori originally we had fear to make a spring launched rocket, but now you're an adult. We hope you don't injure yourself or your family with this boba wood. Enjoy it. And there's a little diagram of how to like shoot yourself in the eye. <laughs> exactly. And this one is special because it doesn't it's have missing. a rocket. Because <laughs> <laughs> Ben is trying to eat it. Uh, You're not supposed to. There's 40 of these. They're 100 bucks. By the way, that's Star Wars. It is. I have another Star Wars one here. Too. <laughs> Let's just say he likes Star more Star Wars. Oh, another Mark Todd. Another Mark Todd. This one is called Luker. Luca. <laughs> Luca. Why don't you can do an interpretive reading of the bank? Oh, that's Ben's. <coughs> <part of it. laughs> okay. Nice kid, a shy teen from a dusty, lonely place, but a big and crazy future awaits. Fighting, flying, savoring, and discovering an uncle who has magic powers. He also meets his real dad. Pretty mean though, and he ends up kissing his sister. Enjoy, Mark oh. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler. So, spoiler. <laughs> These are the same price as the other ones. Fifty-five dollars, edition of thirty. <laughs> so Maybe we can have a running count of like Star Wars versus non. Let's Star Wars just let it go. Wars. He loves Star Wars. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh man. All right. So if what you is this? if you call up Brendan Monroe and you say, Hey, do you want to make an action figure? <laughs> this is what you get. This is what you get. <laughs> Don't call it a Brendan Monroe. Uh, uh, like blob of the blob. Oh, blob of the blob. No. Okay. Um, I like that. And these are all hand painted by Brendan himself. Is that like a Chewbacca figure or a Luke Skywalker or, or just a blob? It's just a blob. But how? Is, okay, so this is, is, is it, like a, is it a blob test from test episode <laughs> Star Wars fans? Is it an up? Is it blob from episode? Because I kind of did see a Wookiee, and I'm sort of embarrassed by that. <laughs> What what episode is the blob from? Oh man, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, Dove, I need one of these. It's yeah. It's kind of next level. How much it? is that? Uh, they're a hundred bucks. And yeah. he hand painted them, signed and numbered out of fifty. I think I might need one. Yeah. Those. Well, there you go. Oh, wow. oh my God, yes. Oh, uh, these are my favorites. These are dun, good. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Yes, Scott C is back. Great showdowns by Scott C. <laughs> this is good. Oh my gosh. 100 bucks. Sculpted by. I'll take the speaking spell. That Yours truly. Oh, sculpted by. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Destruction is happening over there. Oh, I like the paint. It came out nice. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my god. It's a good one. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to need that one. All right. Whoa. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. We made three figures so far with Carlos Ramirez. And the collectory nature of myself, like, I want to continue. I want to make, like, all the original 12 backs. But sometimes there's, like, diminishing returns. I can, like, take this. So this there will be a, a proper header card here. I was going to ask about that. So what I did Amazing. is I found him a collection of... 50 of the rustiest vintage beer cans and he sculpted these three parts the legs and the head which I'm gonna have cast in resin and then he's gonna hand paint them and assemble them so each can will be different 
you could have a Schlitz or a near beer or a Budweiser <laughs> and they're all just rusty as hell like from like 50 years ago this is incredible and so I this is that. a prototype or these are this is, is, um, it will look it? almost exactly like that okay except that is the original balsa wood okay I was gonna ask and those yeah. will be cast in resin and he will assemble them the same way I needed something to show you guys got it got it and he's gonna hand paint them and this all that but that's a corona can yeah but I'll, hopefully we'll send Victoria the the shot there's a one shot that on eBay is there's like a hundred cans and they're just like oh my gosh they've been sitting in this guy's garage for like a hundred years how much are these gonna go for a hundred bucks and as you know, a Carlos Ramirez piece for a hundred bucks. So it's like a hundred dollars is expensive in the real world. Yeah. But for <laughs> the art that you're getting, a hundred bucks is actually very affordable. That's really cool. Pretty cool. And can you imagine what it's going to look like when there's like fifty of them and they're all different beer cans? Oh like, and then you can choose your favorite beer. And he's painting them. To buy so yeah. much stuff from Dove, it's ridiculous. <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, one of our favorite artists in house is Mike Egan. And years ago, we made Sofubi in Japan. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. are cool. And that just got kind of difficult. So <laughs> now we're starting the line over again in resin. And we thought, oh, we'll release the resin figures at Comic Con. And mm -hmm. then I thought, wow, that's stupid. We could make it Star Wars. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so here we have of course the can. first resin Mike Egan piece. Uh, this, wow. this is not a cast helmet. This is a plastic helmet. They will be cast, but he does have his vinyl cape. And this is Darth Bones. <laughs> wow. It will be wow. an edition of 20. It's very, it's solid <laughs> resin. <laughs> it, is so, it is solid resin. Holy um, moly. Wow. Edition of 20, they're going to be 75 Careful. bucks each. And... Uh, Cause it's resin. I don't need to hold it. <laughs> yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> they are just like I don't know. I don't want to break it. it or does anything. it stand? It does. Can you stand it next Let to R2 it. over there? There you go. All right. Maybe not so close to the edge. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Man. All right. And then there we go. Oh, Lock and ET. More Star Wars. So uh, Flat Bonnie, past oh, yeah, couple years, awesome, though. has <laughs> made pieces for us, usually oh, wow. like in the twenty dollar price range, but. I was like, hey, do you want to do something this year? And they're like, okay, but it's going to be more expensive. And they made Chewbactus. <laughs> Chewbactus. <laughs> uh, handmade 11 inch final plug wow. plush. Edition of 10. That is I really, really good. Body. And those are 100 bucks. Amazing. Look at the detail on the face. Now, in, wow. in the photo, just to make you all jealous. Yeah, what's it, that one? In the photo that they sent me, there was a Millennium Falcon. And then they wrote a little note. They said four dubs. Oh, four no. Dubs. They're not making the Millennium Falcon for oh, anyone else. Boo. Oh, that's really boo, good. I say. That is really <laughs> good. <laughs> oh. I don't think I've ever heard Dove do an evil laugh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Unfortunately, there was a couple pieces from people out of the country that couldn't make it here. So you'll be seeing the photos here. But I printed out some photos here for everyone to see okay. for our reactions hot yes, takes yes exactly so Topps Toys uh, from Thailand I don't know. They <laughs> mashed up uh, Game of Thrones with Game of Darth, Wars. Darth Wars. Vader of course because it's Star Wars mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, these uh -huh. are, they're $45 uh -huh. it's an addition of 30 and those should be here from Thailand very soon and you should be seeing a finished photo right there through the magic of editing you think um, he's sad that the last season sucked Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh. No, no one likes Game of Thrones anymore. Oh, George, why do you have to ruin? But they away? love Star Wars. Look, People there's still. Not a, there's not a lot of stuff they could have done at the end there. No, they just went too fast. That's all. But that was for contractual reasons. Yeah, they just went. Too so fast. they were. It was still they good. Were, they were contracted to like. That's why they split season eight and a half. And if they would have gone to a ninth season, every actor could have said, "Well, I want twenty million dollars to do a ninth season. I want ten million dollars." Like their staff budget yeah. could have gone up by ten times. So Here they just have hate, and that's it. They just kind of rushed it. All right, so Rika is making us two pieces. He's in the UK, couldn't get the stuff in time. But here we have the first of his two pieces is called Pablo from the Art Trooper <sighs> series. Oh, I'm going to need this one for my, for my Art and Troopers. And if you remember, he's done other significant artists. Um, yes. Ben, you're going to be broke at Comic-Con. I so know. Yeah, broke. Uh, and I think this is kind of like the best one of the artist series so far. Like that, that Cubist 
Nope. Pablo is Don't even try. What? Don't try to convince me. No. You I have a way to them because of we're cutting money. the photo in right now. Oh. I have a way for you to save money. <laughs> Don't talk to Close Dom. your eyes. <laughs> no. Only buy the things that aren't Star Wars from Dom. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, this one's called That's Star Wars. <laughs> so actually, um, last year was the wow. tenth, Star Wars. Was the tenth Ooh. anniversary of Rika making toys. In 2008, he released his Ooh. first toy, which was this is good. a stormtrooper on a cross. And this is That's a good. smaller version, an edition of 50. They're 45 bucks. How small is it? Uh, this is like four inches. Okay. So sacrilegious. See this. George, do you approve? Whatever. He's like, whatever. That um, would be uh, maybe not. All right, so those are all of our exclusives. There's a few other things we have here. Oh, what are these? Down. Suckadelic. We can all have one. Whoa. Laser trying to stick her back. Pass them down. So we're going to premiere wow. these uh, Suckadelic oh, stickers I like these. here. I will uh, read these. These are awesome. Really good. There you go. You can open Thanks. those. Ooh. It says, need more lasers in your life? <laughs> you too. Uh, easily dazzle your idiot friends with the latest <laughs> Space Age technolo technology. Mm. It's a sticker. Who are these characters? Why did I buy this? Why do I feel so insulted by a sticker pack? It's a trading card that sticks the latest in high quality sticker technology. Simply peel the thin gotcha. film layer from the yeah, back to the card, then stick. So instead of sticking a sticker, you're sticking the card? It was a weird situation. The back is the the thin film that's normally the sticker is actually it's on the a back. thick card. A thick card. That's not the point. The point is, <laughs> <laughs> is it's they're fun prism. Ooh. Yeah, they're really nicely done on the front. They are very nicely done. Think of it as a card. Oh, no, it's the back. You get to peel the back. Didn't you listen to the story? But uh, what? Are you, what? <laughs> oh, Ben. <Yeah. laughs> This episode is turning out to be a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, ben ben doesn't understand stickers, apparently. Uh. Did you do it? No, I can't. Basically, <laughs> it's done. It, ben, look. Uh. How'd you? Oh, wait a minute. It's like a card. Dude, it wasn't that I hard. Just told you. It's that. like a sticker card. That's what he said when he read it. Oh. Yeah, but that makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's more durable this way. Yo, yeah, well, yes. how, how are we going to put it outside yes. on our trash can? You know, you put it inside. Oh. On the wall. That won't stick. Oh. That won't stick. It's not very sticky. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> but they are really cool, I have to say. Very cool. All right, so. I'm just going to think of them as cards. That's it for the exclusives. There are three other pieces where I went to the artist and bought out the rest of the editions because I thought they were cool. Okay. Uh, Kalaka Toys released Bartski. Bartski. Which, um, it's an edition of 30. Uh, we got oh. the last 10 pieces from him. Nice. They were $150 plus shipping from Argentina, which is a pain in the ass. We have them for 125 bucks. Not bad. That's cool. Uh, same with Free Humanity. Those of you who have gotten the previous Yoda or Lando Obama figures, he did an edition of 13 uh, hand stenciled pieces on wood. And these will be 200 Free at the show. Humanity. I think we have like five of those. And Sean, Jerkbag Sean, Lazarus Toys <laughs> made Duder One Blunt Toby. Blunt Toby. Nice. I have to say, I like. I've been doing are, it for those a are while. 70, those are 75 bucks. But I like the ones Dude, that are basically wow. just regular figures, but have like, the whole thing is the art on the card. Yeah. It's kind of a neat idea. I mean, we're trying to have more of that. Um, the force of I, think, like those, I think there's a good mix of people who are just doing a regular mashup from the resin community. I've seen it. I but made then that there's oh. artists that I get to just call up who have never made a figure before and just say like, hey, do you want to make a figure? Yeah. And then sometimes you get... Uh, Something amazing, and sometimes you get something that George hates, <laughs> um, or that George made and, I, and he still hates. <laughs> and he still <laughs> hates it no matter what. But then we sell out of them, and then George just kind of grumbles. He's like, "Wee, wee, wee." Um, so Whoa, uh, I think this has gone too far. This has gone too far. This yeah. has not gone too far. So just it's for a blister filled with blisters. Who made this uh, one? So, th <laughs> so this right here. What is this? This is the DKE blister pack. So any of you out there who make figures or want to make figures, 
uh, if you PayPal five dollars to dketoys at gmail.com, you will get samples of all of our blisters. This one fits big Motu figures, and this one fits Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. And then if you do Star Wars or three and three quarter, you have three different sizes here. And this is what most of these artists use to make their figures. And I just thought I would bring a sample of all these just oh. so you guys would know that if you think like, hey, how do I make figures? Or if you damaged a blister pack. Like, let's say... You can, you can use these to replace them. That is correct. Wow. And they have little ones for accessories. I have a new one that I just did for coins. And this is our old suckle blister. And then there's the big one if you have like... So fatties. Fimorian guards. So did fatties. you have these like custom made for you? Uh, yes. Oh wow. Um, these okay. are all these are all blisters that uh, we've had made uh, in quantity. We usually make about ten thousand at a time. Um, oh. The the normal Star Wars blisters run fifty cents each. We have a minimum of ten. The the larger ones are actually a little more expensive. These are two bucks each, and that's because if they're because they're, they're bigger, they're twenty mil. They're okay. much oh, they're, thicker. they're much thicker. And so what happens is is if you have uh, a sheet of of plastic. So the normal blisters are 15 mil. The the side here, from here to here, is actually the stretched. So if someone tells you that the thickness is 15 mil, only the front is 15 mil. The sides have been stretched like that. So when you have something big like this that is two inches thick, um, you have to have a thicker plastic on the front or mm. else the corners will crush. Okay. And so if you can see, these are super durable, which is not the way most blisters are. So I made these specifically for artists who are, and collectors who are condition sensitive. Are these made? Don't want their stuff. Are these up. made in the USA? What? The blisters? Yes. Oh, wow. Ooh, they absolutely neat. are. Except for the Suckle blister. This is when we ordered the Suckle figures. I just piggybacked the order and it said, send me an extra 10,000. But as you can see, what people complain about our suckle blister yeah. is it's really kind of milky. Hazy. Made in China, am but I right? American <laughs> ones, <laughs> crystal clear. That was good. Yeah. Um, so that's it. If I and you know, our job here. Um, Man, this well, is a lot of toys. It yeah. is. Uh, you know, DKE now uh, in doing these conventions, um, since that's our main job, like. Uh, our job right now is, is really just helping artists who want to participate in this scene get their products to market. So if you have questions, uh, I'm available. We're on Instagram at DKE Toys. Again, the email address is dketoys at gmail.com. Uh, we're available. If you go to dketoys.com, you'll see a phone number there. If you call that number, or it, my cell phone rings. So. Just want to let you know Wait, that, like... they can talk directly to Dove. <laughs> talk I, directly to the Dove. Amazingly enough, I spend a lot of time talking to young artists who are trying to make stuff and help artists figure out how to, you know, express themselves in this medium. You everything. can tell them all about the Boba Fett you want to make. <laughs> <laughs> how you think Actually, it's different than every other Boba Fett. You're going to want to make a different figure. If, if Boba Fett totally bombs this year, next year... There won't be any Boba Fett's <laughs> <laughs> uh, It's the I really, I really thought <laughs> you weren't going to sell this as like an art piece, all these blisters. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Uh, but again, a sample oh, no. pack with one of each is just five bucks. And that basically covers like the shipping to you. It's, and we encourage you not to use them, to keep them as reference for while you're creating stuff. Because if you start a project, and then you want to figure out the blister after you've created the toy? Dumb idea. Uh, Big mistake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you want to kind of figure out what your package is going to look like and then make something that fits inside. Makes sense. I like to do the, get the blister and then when I'm sculpting it, you know, you fit it right inside, mm -hmm. you make sure that you don't, you got the right height, you got the right thickness. You're going to screw up your blister, so you always keep one around that's mm. going to get all dirty and scratched because you're putting your figure in and out of it. Huh. Like, did you see the corners of that one? Mm -mm. We got a corner rounder. So those of you who print your own nice. cards, you go on eBay and you can buy something called a corner rounder. Mm. And they're the little hand ones that like give you like carpal tunnel are only like <laughs> 20, 30 bucks. But for like 80 bucks, you get this huge press and it comes with these two different blades and you can round corners. And he actually rounded the corners of that one to... Kind of make them nice and even. Because those are all square corners. Yeah, because they, the, they used to be... All the previous Ooh. releases were all square. Ooh. They look like this, man. Yeah, I like the rounded corner better. 
gives it a nice uh, finish. Effect is awesome. Mm. Sorry. Just Same goes for when people do blisters too. I like the rounded corner better than the. Well, unless, unless it's on. I'm or something. a lot about how to make action figures sort of kind of. Mm. Not really. Now you should. Now you should make some. Oh. No. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> no. Jack's Boba oh, Fett. Man. <laughs> Vinyl Pulse is Boba Fett. Boba Pulse. Ooh. <laughs> God. All right, well... I hope um, not. Well, if you're interested in buying any of these... Uh, How much I are these again? Oh, this is 10 bucks for 12 cards. Oh, that's not bad. Sticker cards? Card, cards. And they stick. Let's just say they're cards. If they're you feel cards. like sticking it, you can. Yeah. But it's cards yeah. that you could stick if you weren't. But, but they it, have the cool super really lasery like, effect. It's, it's really the 90s prism... Like vending machine yeah. feel. Let's just say if you want to put them on your fridge, you don't need any. Was magnets. it hard to get that made? This whole effect thing. No, it's just a foil, like a hologram foil paper. Okay. Are these Still made in the U.S.? No. Okay. These are okay. printed in China. All right. Well. Very nice. Anyway, thank uh, you, everybody. That's a lot. Of thanks, Doug, for coming on. Thanks for sharing. Thanks yeah, for putting thank up you. with. Thanks us. for holding the ones that we want. No, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> I had a lot I of never fun on this show. That. Yeah, yeah. And remember, if you want a dub to sell you some of these, you can also email him directly. <laughs> and you don't have to go to Comic-Con because God knows it's hard to get tickets to that. And um, that's see it. See you in November. November. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we'll probably see you no, in October comes, for... Do you, wait, do you do back. New York? Uh, we have three shows this year. This is San Diego, so I'm sure you'll see us back for New York Comic-Con and for Designer Con. That's nice. right, New York Comic-Con. Okay. All right, sounds good. Well, don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Tell us what's your favorite Boba Fett out of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. See ya. Thanks a lot. That was amazing. <laughs> that was so much fun.